kutokana na mashaka ya shakahola ni kwamba wanawake kutoka jamii za wafugaji kaunti za Isiolo, Marsabit, Samburu na Laikipia wamepata chanzo thabiti cha mapato kupitia kazi ya kutengeneza mapambo kutumia shanga. Biashara hii wameipongeza kwa kuwa imebadilisha maisha yao na kuwapa heshima kutoka kwa waume zao na jamii kwa ujumla tofauti na awali ambapo hawakuruhusiwa hata kuunda vikundi na kuhudhuria mikutano. Sisi tunafanya na wamama kutoka Conservancy nane wamama elfu moja miambili. Uh, sisi tunafanya na wamama kazi ya kushona shanga. Tunawaletea ile vitu yote wanaitaji kwa kushonaji ya hiyo shanga. Sisi tunaomba tuyo nafasi yake ya kuketi kushona hiyo shanga. Hatu, hatu haribu kazi yake ya nyumbani ama kufanya ya sikose, akose kufanya kazi zake za kawaida. Lakini yeye anafanya juti zake kama kawaida anarudi kutafuta muda wa kushona zile shanga kulingana na oda vile ilivyo tumwa. Kila mama akona timi yake. Sasa changa kuletwa, mimi mmoja ni stabida, nukigawa changa kwa kina mama. Sasa wakati changa nakuja, unaenda kuf... kitu imbia nakuja sasingine. Unakalia yu mama yote, unafunsa, mbaka achike fulea kuchona. Sasa, kila mtu amejua kuchona, na kila mtu amejua mambo ya NRT, ya NRT ni nini. Hata samani watu anashona changa na ajui ya NRT ni nini. Lakini fulia saya na kuja treni, hame kuja kujua NRT ni nini. Kwa sababu ile leba na lipo, amuona ni pesa. As NRT Trading, we have a business program that supports women, which is Bidworks. We work with women in four counties, like Kipia, Samburu, Marsabit, and Isiolo. We go out to the community conservancies to meet women where they are. And uh, before they started making bids, uh, bidding is a traditional skill that the women have. And we come in to really just provide that market linkages. And what I like to think about is bids. It's more than bids. It's really more of a an, um, women empowerment program where we see how do we support and collaborate and work with our women so that they, they can use their existing skills to uplift their, their lives. <laughs>